I've been exploring the property here with Sarah Beth Russell and we're standing in front of the spring house and this has got my attention uh, all the way back from Fincastle when I first saw John Kincaid's spring house in Fincastle and I was just showing Sarah Beth that video and she watched it. What do you think about that video? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Sarah Beth Morrow's, how many acres do you have here, Sarah Beth? I guess seem like it's up around 500. 500, yeah, that's right. Roger told me, five or 600 yeah. acres. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. What do you do with all that property? I don't do nothing with it. <laughs> <laughs> Except this right in here. Hi guys, this is John Ward with Appalachian Homes People and Places again, and here I am out today exploring history again. When I was in school, I hated history. But for some reason, when you can get out and you can see where things happened 200 years ago, it just kind of brings it to life. So I'm back at the Kincaid Russell House, and uh, as you can see in the background right here, this is the front of the house, and I caught Miss Sarah Beth Russell out working in her yard she's been mowing today and uh, so i was just coming by to get another picture of the spring house i was here a few nights ago and i caught her out in the yard and let's go look at some of the things that sarah bass got to show us sarah bass stays very active and very busy for 88 years old i'm gonna go see if we can catch her on her lawnmower and I am coming back here to film inside at some point, hopefully. I just kind of popped by the day and unexpectedly caught Sarah Beth outside. We see on the front of the house, they added a turn in the bricks on the socket, so that's a little bit different. Thought you said your back was hurting. <laughs> it I, is. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> but I keep using it. It's going to hurt whether you use it or not, ain't it? I have to keep it going or I can't go. Are you growing any vegetables this year? I doubt it. You doubt it. It's easier to go buy them nowadays, ain't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just me to eat. Well, Roger comes in to eat, but... Yeah, Roger just, knows a lot I of the history. I don't use much, so. Don't need a lot of vegetables like you did when you had a big family. Oh, yeah. 
So what was the most people that ever lived here at one time? I know you said you moved here when you were 18 in 1950. Yeah, that's the year I got married. And you moved here then, so there was some, uh, uh, so a lot of the Russell family was probably living here then. Well, Ro Roger's son, uh, or Bill's brother, was still here top, the one top. living up on the hill. And his sister had uh, uh, was had married also this year, that year in 15, so she had moved out. So okay. it was just his mother when I came here. Your his mother, mother and brother. And be, yeah. But, uh, he went off to college and he wasn't here long. So what did you do here when you first got married? What was life like on the farm? Well, I started having youngins. Oh, how many <laughs> kids did you have? <laughs> I had three. Three? Yeah, two girls, my boy. Roger's a baby. So what did you do in this big old house? What did you have to take, chase some kids around and feed them? Yeah. Yeah, Bill's mother was a good cook. She was, she was big. She'd weigh I'd say 250 pounds to 300. She liked to cook. She must have some good, I bet she made some good food. She was a good cook. <laughs> I bet. So what year did she pass? She, uh, gee, I forget exactly. I'd say somewhere near 65, somewhere in there. I, I've just forgotten. Well, that's hard to remember stuff like that. I asked a lot well, of questions. Let's see. I've had I had all three of my kids because when Roger was born and I come home from the hospital, she was sitting in the living room, and I come in with him in my arms and put him over in her lap, and I said, "Happy birthday!" He was born on her birthday. Roger was. Roger was. Well, how about that? And she said. That's a fine thing, but don't get no more. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't get no more. <laughs> Roger was the last one. Did he yeah. get spoilt? Did Roger get spoilt because he's the, the last one? Huh? Did Roger get spoilt, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was spoiled rotten. So uh, after your mother-in-law passed away, did you start doing the cooking then? Yeah. Well, I helped cook at the time. We, so you, did you learn some of her good secrets? We were both. I just helped her. She was the main cook as long as she was alive. Absolutely. But I, but I helped her, and of course I had just moved in, you know. I just helped her do the cooking because at the time Bill was doing the farming, and um, we had to cook for the work hands. Oh yeah, how many people worked here? Deal. Well, they would come in whenever we Bill needed help, and uh, they they wouldn't stay here, but they'd eat dinner here. Right. So we'd have to cook for the work hands. You have about ten people work, and, maybe. Oh yeah, we'd have a table full of them. Ah. Uh -huh. Whatever, according to what they were doing. So that day. was a job all day preparing food. Then yeah, that was yeah. a, the the ladies that take yeah, care of that. Yeah, uh, just depend what they were doing as to how many there would be. So. Uh, so I bet they look forward to that big home-cooked meal, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bill's mother was an old-time cooker. Soup, beans, and cornbread. <laughs> what was your and favorite thing to big, learn? She was a big gardener, too. She got, she had a garden as long as she was alive. So what, what was your favorite thing you learned to cook from her? Why do you still cook anymore? That I learned from her? Yeah. I just about learned everything. I was... I didn't realize it, but I was just a child when I married. <laughs> well, so, 18, so a lot of people get married around 18. And, yeah. Yeah. But it was either marry him or lose him, so. Well, yeah. <laughs> so how'd you meet? How'd you meet Bill? I came, at that time we were living in Cleveland, Ohio, and my aunt lived in a house made by the Kincaid's just like this one. It's so, a different style type. So, no, wait but, a minute. Uh, wait a minute. You've, you've got me off. I was down on a, visiting her. No, no, wait a minute. Back up. You got me caught there. You said you was living in a house built by Kincaid. Where at? It's up the road, just a couple of miles. Oh, the Osmus? The Osmus So house. you was living there? Yeah. Okay. I'd come down to stay with my aunt for a while. I'd come down oh. in the summertime. So your aunt lived in the, Os the Kincaid Osmus house? Yeah. So you've lived in two of the Kincaid yeah. houses now? Yeah. <laughs> How about I've been that? lucky enough to do that. So, and, um, but I was there, and there was a boy there that I knew, 
and he was coming down here and he got me to come with him. He said, come go with me. And I just went come to see where he was going. When we got here, that's where I met Bill. <laughs> so, so how old was Bill when you met him? How long was Bill? Was how old was he? How much older was oh, he? He was a year older than me. A year older. Mm -hmm. So how long was it to you when you met him? How, how old was you when you met him? Eight tangents get married right away? No, no, it was a year. I still had a high, year in high school and I had to go back to Cleveland, Ohio, but we still stayed connected together. Oh, and, okay, uh, so you finished school He even come up home. there one time and uh, to see me and come back home. And then the next summer I came down and we got married. And you've been here 70 years. 71 now, I think, maybe. 18. I was 18 then. You got married in uh, 1950. My daddy had to come sign for me. Oh. <laughs> he didn't want to, but he did. Well, so what was your family uh, that lived in the Kincaid Osmus house? Who was that? You... Uh, my, it was my aunt. It was my mother's. They were twins. Oh, yeah? And uh, my mother and Aunt Viola. They were Liotta and Viola were twins. How long did they live there? And well, Lord, I don't know. They they lived there a long time before I was. I'd say they were living there when I was born. The Almses, because we lived in the old Alexander house at that time, and um, it's just across the road on the other side of the road from the Osmus house. Oh, well, see, I'm going to go try to find the, the old house. Alexa the old Alexander house has been tore down and a new house in its place. Oh, okay. Well, I've not seen, I don't know for sure. I've I seen a house some years ago, and I think that's the one, the Osmus house. Uh, I'm going to go try to find some pictures of it here in a little bit to show some people where you lived at first. Uh, yeah. So you, you're a lucky dog. You got to live in two of them houses. Uh -huh. So did you come down for the summer to stay or something with yeah, your aunt? Yeah, come down to stay with my aunt. And found you, found she, your husband. When she lived there, and that's, uh, and uh, there was a boy there that worked on the farm, Walter. So he was coming down here, and he brought me with him, and that's where I met Bill. So that did it for me. <laughs> um, have it ready. To do again. So, did you pick this lawnmower out or did Roger get it? No, I put it up. Did, uh, did you buy it though? Did you oh. go pick it out, the color? Yeah. Did you like that one? Yeah. It's pretty, ain't it? Yeah. I like the red. So, have you, how many years you been mowing here? Oh, Lord, I've mowed for ever. <laughs> <laughs> You've wore out a few lawnmowers, in other words, then. Yeah, I have. When I started mowing, we just had the old push top. Oh, did it have a motor on it? No, no, no. You had to turn all you of had it. To, you had to push it. You were the motor. You didn't mow with that, did you? I didn't, yeah. You still got that old lawnmower? I think it is up there somewhere. I bet it is. I bet it's in the barn. <laughs> and then we went from it to a powered mower, mower. And, now, and I'd, I've just had the riding mower for five, six years, I guess. You, you mowed all of this property with a push mower? Yeah. <laughs> no wonder, mow, no wonder you're- I was mowing all the time. <laughs> no wonder you're in good shape. So that, that must be the key to your health, just using a push mower to mower about, what was you mowing, about 10 or 15 I, I acres? Reckon, but when I got to put the riding mower with it, then I've spread out more. Oh, you mow more now? Yeah, mow more. <laughs> I mow the other side of the road up to that barn up there. Up to the graveyard? Yeah, to the cemetery up there. And uh, I like to mow. I like to get out and mow. So, But Bill finally got me a riding mower so I could really go to town. <laughs> oh. While I've got it cranked, I'll go ahead and put it up. Okay, I'll film you putting it up.
And you're gardening? Yeah. Is that your sun hat? Yeah. And if the sun's real hot, I use it to mow. But it, it wasn't hot today. So was this your other mower? Did you use this one? Uh, Did you mow with this one? That Roger uses that one. Okay, that's Roger's mower. He, uh, <clears throat> he goes to the cemetery, uh -huh. and mows it, and... Uh, that's, that's his. I don't use that one. Yeah, that one looks a little harder to deal with. Huh? That one's harder to work, I bet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big, big one. Gene had it first, and then Roger got it. And uh, he mows a big area with that. I guess you will have to pull it down. You got it higher than me. <laughs> You can get a hold of the key. Do well, you want to go up the hair or right up this way? Or well, I'll go wherever you let me go. I'll follow you around for a little bit until you run me off. Well, yeah. I think you're very interesting, and your property's got a lot of history, and you do too. And I've seen them use this now. And uh, that one... Um, I don't know what it is really, but Roger put them out here so that they could be saved. Absolutely. This old machinery that they used on the farm. So you all had a dairy farm, right? Dairy? Yeah, we did. So Bill's daddy didn't have. Of course, he he would died as a young man, but uh, he didn't dairy. Right over here and look at this tractor a minute. Tell me about this tractor. I like that tractor. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was one Bill's daddy had. and He died with a heart condition as a young man. And uh, your husband's dad. So this, yeah. this was, this has to be a very old tractor then, don't it? Yeah. So uh, he died. What, what, what year would he have died? Your, your, uh, being your uh, father-in-law. His kids, Roger, my husband, uh, Roger, <laughs> Roger, your son, son. yeah. <laughs> um, but um, he died in in early part of their their marriage. Oh, he, he he was a young man. I don't know. I remember the age that he died at, but uh, he was just a young man. He died had a heart condition. Can this gate open so I can get a closer picture of it? Can I go over? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'd like to get a good picture of it because you don't see many old tractors like that. And it's been on this farm for... Uh, it's been on this farm for how long? 50. You've been here 50 years, so it's here before yeah, you got here. Yeah, 50. When the Russells lived here, I don't... Uh, I don't know the date that they came here, but the, the I think house, 18, 1898 from what I... The house has only been in three families. Yeah. Kincaid's built it, Brunt's moved in, and then the Russells. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think the Russells has been here for almost 122 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. Old Uncle Bill Russell bought, uh, bought it. So we have, you know, when I was here before, Miss Russell, I did not see this huge creek coming down through here. So this is really nice. That's the creek. It's, what's the name of this creek? Davis Creek? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the Davis's Creek. Davis it, Creek. Because it comes all the way down through the valley. It keeps going till it gets to the lake. Absolutely. Yeah. So... We see here in the background, we started kind of over here at the barn. We see the main house up there, but this tractor truck got my attention right here is really just, you know, I love old equipment. And wow, this one looks like it would probably start and run. It wouldn't take much. That was on there when I came here, but it's been added on. And that tractor has been there. I've not seen it move since I've been married. It's not moved in 50 years? 50 years, wow. <laughs> well, it was Bill's father's, and I don't know, maybe somebody else's. 
So, Miss Sarah Bath here says she's been here. You've been here 70 years. You don't think it's running 70 years? Really? So your husband didn't use it? It's not been moved. Because Bill had his tractors. Yeah. Bill had different tractors. Yeah. So he just didn't use that he one. He had three, and I don't know why that one was left alone. I don't know. That looks like know, it's just been put up to preserve as a museum. Wow, you still have cows. I didn't know y'all still had cows. Wow, those are some... That's some beautiful cows. Are those your cows or do you lease the property? Uh, no, we lease it out. You lease it, right. Wow, those are pretty cows. Are those dairy cows? You don't have to come up here. We'll walk back around this way. I'll get up here. I can step up here. I have a back problem. My well, back hurts all the time. <laughs> I sure do appreciate you showing me around here a little bit, man. This is just such beautiful property. I've been posting videos of those, a lot of the Kincaid uh, property, and people just love it. Those young heifers, they belong to uh, the... Um, oh, and like Van Weber. I couldn't think of her name. Uh, they're, they're her caves. Oh, is that some of the same family that and was buried up here? They've got the land leased here. The Van Berbers, is that some of the people that's buried up here at, your, at the graveyard? No, is that the same no. family? No, they live on up the valley about a mile or two. Uh, they have a big dairy uh, barn up there that they do, do dairy, and they do it in a big fashion. I see, they got some beautiful cattle here. And they just bring their young heifers here. Raise and get old enough to, to meal. Well, let's go around here and look at this uh, barn a little bit. Is that your cat? Yeah, I don't know where he come from, but you just inherited him, huh? <laughs> yeah, he come. I, my back is so weak. I'm, I'm try to be careful not to fall. I've had plenty of falls and been lucky. Okay, we walked over to this barn. Sarah Beth's been showing us the tractor over there. And now this old barn is very amazing. I love how old it is. We can see all the different things that's been hung up here over the years. This barn's possibly original to when the house was built in about 1840, I think. So, if you love Appalachian culture and history, right here it is. It's it's what now? I said it's beginning to rot down here. I don't know. It's a it's almost a two hundred years old, so it's it's going to have a a little bit of issues, I'm sure. So this is what I've come today to. I was just going to get some pictures of it, and then I found you out in the yard, <laughs> so you got captured by me. Yeah. I had <laughs> put my mower up there to fill it up with gas. I always do that and have it ready for the next time. I mow everything but this section right here. Oh, this that's... On the hillside. And I have... I used to mow it. That looks a little dangerous. But, uh... You make Roger mow that? It got too hard. Yeah, Roger, he's my help to mow it. <laughs> but I've got a boy hard now to come and mow this section. So here we are. This is the spring house. This is, this is what's got my interest. This is beautiful. I, to see this water coming down through here and these rocks that was probably cut 200 years ago coming underneath the walkway and down through here to the main creek and we that's davis creek from what i saw on the map so i got some when i was here with roger he's ran to the store or something right now and be back shortly but uh he uh he took us on the inside so i'll show you some of that footage here also but uh, I, when i was here it was getting late and i didn't get pictures so i wanted to come back and uh get a picture of the spring house i, I love the upstairs part of it uh, I don't think it was used for quarters. I thought it might have been used for slave quarters, but I don't think that now because there's not a chimney 
built on this one like the one in, in Fincastle. So, but right back here at the back is where it was really amazing how this water comes out right here in this big rock. And this is the third of the spring houses John Kincaid built. And they all start on the outside so that you have access outside without having to get into the building. So wow, we go back in there just a little ways. When I was here the other night, I really couldn't see. So this footage I'm getting today is a lot better. So it goes in and down and I'll cut that other footage in from a few nights ago when I was here. Inside. I, don't, I don't have any light in here. I don't know how much you'll have. When I was growing up, there were power in all these buildings, but as time went on, we just didn't have a use for it. You might, if I leave that open, see enough. To... And this just goes out, goes under the road, goes over the creek. So they would have kept. Um, they would have kept stuff over here. They would have kept it cool. Yeah, they, you know, they could probably set vegetables up here. They could have set anything down. Could have stuck in the water. Yeah, if you want to keep it like real cold, put it in the water. Yeah, I, I wonder. I, so yeah, this had pretty good, pretty good amount of space in here. Yeah. So upstairs is a mess. If you want to see it, just watch your step going up. Okay. Cool. But again, it's it's just storage. So that's got a door going out. I wonder why that would have had a door up on the second floor. You think they would have had a porch going out? No, the story I was told is they used to store grain in there and they would just pull up as close as they could and throw it in here for the winter, store the winter. So this spring house is probably the closest spring house to any of the houses I've seen so far. We have a door right there and the spring house right here. Roger believes that the basement was used for the kitchen, that this might not have had an outside kitchen since it had a, a basement. Tell us about what they did. Uh, you think they had a kitchen in the basement of this house? You yeah. Think? yeah, this uh, bottom part and where that door is, there's a room and that's a basement. And so they, that was where the slaves cooked. And can they come out the door to the spring house here? where they kept their milk and anything they needed to keep cold. Right. And so they had to work and go through that door. That was the, and the, what our kitchen is, was their, was their dining area. So some later years it was turned mm -hmm. into when, yeah. probably when electric came yeah. and they started cooking more with electric than they did with uh, wood. Yeah. They met, built that kitchen upstairs, so. Mm -hmm. But that's a, there's a big fireplace in the, in that basement and that's where they cooked, in the fireplace. All right, yeah, so I bet that's pretty. That's where the, what that chimney is. I'm gonna walk right around here and get a picture of the side of the house because it looks so much bigger on the side. And those windows up top, Roger gave me some pictures of some beams that hopefully you're seeing right now in this video that has markings on them of some sort. Maybe that was cut so they would know exactly where they went. This house does have the same soffit that we're seeing on the other houses. We're seeing the same soffit there. So this is what we're seeing here would have been the basement. And we've got the front porch up here. Roger was telling us the other night that there were quite a few outbuildings over the years that were here that eventually he took down. The graveyard is up here at the top. 
and I'll try to add some of that footage that Roger, Roger talked about the other night. This Is this just Russell's or is this Kincaid's or who's buried here? Kincaid's and there's a Buchanan, there's a Van Beber. Okay. Um, right here, Kincaid's grave. That's his wife, Susan. That's William. That's who lived in the house. So this must have been John Kincaid's older brother, because John Kincaid was born in 19 or 1802. So, see what I'm saying? Yeah. This would have been John's older brother. So, so are these others? There any other Kincaids or? Um, I'll have to look. I think there's a baby. That's Buchanan, Dorsus Buchanan. I think this guy was killed in the Civil War. Kincaid's were with the Confederates in the Civil War. Right. That's why after the war, you know, government seized property, but they got rid of it. Well, he died before the Civil War, so I don't know exactly how he ended up. Minerva Jane Van Beber. I think this is man and wife. Now the deal here, there was some people from California come here and my dad let them have the old tombstone. They said, if we buy him a new one, will you tie? I said, dad, that was a big mistake. But it was my dad, you know, what can you do? That's why there's a new rock for him. So did the people just want a new rock for him or they did want the old tombstone? They wanted both. They wanted a new I rock. They wanted, mainly to keep wanted the old rock more than they did the. So that was from 1865. See, that's the year uh, that John Kincaid II was murdered in his front porch up there in Fincastle. So he was younger. He was born after John Kincaid. So that's part of that. Oh, cool. Thing. Now, I think there was another Kincaid. So what's the deal about these rocks here? Because these rocks has got had to have been cut probably. Or are they just filled? No, they're just filled rocks, ain't they? This is a Kincaid. 1826, eight, look there, 1865 again, yeah. April 1865. So what was that 1865 over here? April 10th, 1860. No, 18, right here. No, March 11th, 1865, Weber died. And then over here we got one died. Right, know, it might have been some kind of uh, plague or something. This guy got killed in the war. The war, okay. So this would have been... And Kane. We decided to keep this up over the years, but it's been, I mean, keeping them standing has been a big enough chore. We do still keep it mowed somewhat and use close on them years. Do you know how this says on the front of this right here, the first name? Have you ever been able to determine what that says? No, I've not. So there's quite a few Kincaids right here. So some people say John Kincaid Seconds buried here. There's no John as far as I know. Right. There's no Mark. And I wonder if his grave wasn't marked just for some reason. No, no. The deal up here, this pile of rocks here, I've heard two stories. One was that it was King Cade's favorite slave. And one I heard was it was a family that died of plague. Smallpox. So what do you mean? The found, this is a foundation from a house or what no, is it? No, no, no. This is a grave. This is a grave. Is a oh grave. No my goodness! Okay, so. Fell over the years and trees have hit it and everything else. Oh wow! I did not realize that. I just I, was dry, I saw it and I was drawn to it and I thought, well, what is this? Because you can tell it's stacked. So it was one of Kincaid's slaves' grave. I was told. I've heard it, it was one of his favorite slaves, and then I heard that it was a family. I don't know if slaves or whatever that all had smallpox or whatever that died, and we're buried together. Oh wow. <laughs> That's I don't know. Uh, there's another grave marker out there. It's a four-year-old or six-year-old girl. That's a marked tomb. Most of the slave graves. The story of this guy is, what I was told, is when Kincaid was in the war, and I'm pretty sure it was John, not William, he, let, he got his gold. And when Kincaid came back from the war, he found out about it. And this guy left here from this farm on a big black horse going this way. And he made it to about, do you know where Wayside Pond is? If you go over on old 63 over here and go up about two miles, maybe. That's where they caught up with him. 
And when they caught up with him, that's where he ended up. But he didn't have the gold on him. So there's always been the story the gold was hidden or he lost the gold before he got back. But when they caught him, they killed him. So that's what I've always heard. Have you heard that John Kincaid had a silver mine? That's how he made his money. Have you heard that? I have heard that, but I don't know if there's anything to that at all. The this, story I heard was gold. Okay, so now, see, it's um, always a little bit different every time we talk to somebody. So mm -hmm. it's just interesting to, just to hear all the different stories, you know. When you come back, I'll get my uncle to come down here because he lives for this stuff. I mean, <laughs> he, he has a good memory about it, and he can tell you a lot better than I can. A few years ago, there were some black gals come here, and their last name were, was Kincaid. And this has been, I say a few years ago, it's probably been 25 years ago. And they were doing genealogy, and they had traced their roots back to here. And they told my dad at the time, said, from what they could understand, Kincaid treated his slaves fairly and well. He didn't, he wasn't one of the guys that beat them and did all this, that, and the other to them. And that's what they were tracking down. They were related to the Kincaids? Well, you know, a lot of slaves, when they left, a lot of slaves just had first names. Oh, so and they took When they the... left, they would take, that's why you have a lot of slaves that are Jacksons, Washingtons, and so forth. They would take the slave owner's last name, Jefferson. And uh, evidently, that's what happened with Kincaid. That's, they said they were tracing it back to here. I don't know if they were actual blood relatives or just, like I said, tracing ancestors down. Did they speak of the history of how the slaves were treated? Did they so know? They were treated good as best they could determine. They were treated well Good by Kincaid. But before we got the city water, there was a spring up in the head of that holler up there. And we had got it drifted down to the front yard. So <laughs> did you use that spring because you could use gravity to feed it and you yeah. didn't need a pump for uh -huh. this one? Yeah. Okay, so there's another spring and it's on your property, yeah, right? Yeah. So is it on the other side of the road? Yeah, other so, side. And it's up up in that holler. It's you can walk up there. It's pretty good a little ways. There used to be a log cabin up there, and we had a renter that lived in the house up there, and the spring was above his his house. And so it come out of that holler. It was clean water. Does this little creek? Is this this is this ain't the same creek we're seeing down here? There's two creeks. This creek's oh, running this into this. this. This comes from a spring. Oh, that comes from a spring yeah, there. Yeah, it is, comes from a spring from that holler. Is that the spring you're talking about? Uh -huh. So that yeah. you run a pipe all the way from up there down Get to here. Down to the front yard. Oh my goodness. So we had water out there. So they gave you good water pressure. But uh, then finally they put water through the from city water. And we connected onto it. Got water in the house. Okay, so now you've got me. You got me curious. So this creek over here is actually from a spring. Spring. Yeah. I'm gonna go look at that. I'm gonna film that. I'll be right yeah. back. You come with me if you want. So I was here the other day and was filming, and I did not realize this was actually water from a spring. Wow! Look how clear that water is wow that is absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful so bill sarah Beth's husband built this garage maybe in the 60s or 70s and the spring runs right underneath this one also so what i thought was just a creek actually is a spring so that's interesting to me that's a whole new twist of the story so this old building here is in really good shape man it's just excellent shape and uh the water runs right under look how clear that is that's just absolutely amazing and from the lower part of the house we get a little bit better shot out of here